This tutorial will cover many of the features available on the Purchases tab of Express Accounts. Looking at the tab, you can see that everything related to purchases, accounts payable, suppliers, and ordering items is located here. First, let's review the difference between accounts payable and payments. Use accounts payable to record bills and invoices that you need to pay at a future date. This ensures that your income statement will more accurately reflect all your expenses, whether they are paid or unpaid. You'll be able to see at a glance how much money you owe, and you will know exactly when your bills are due. Overall, using the accounts payable will help you better manage your cash flow. Use payments to record payments you have already made. This can include things like office supplies and shipping charges, or even bills if you decide not to use the accounts payable system. You can set up Express Accounts to enter your upcoming bills, view outstanding bills, and to pay these bills. To set up an account payable, click the Enter Payable icon on the toolbar. Select the date you received the bill and the date it is due by clicking the calendar icons in the date fields. Select a supplier from the drop menu by clicking the triangle in the supplier field. A supplier can be anyone you owe money to, whether they supply the building you rent or a wholesale item for your store. If your supplier is not listed, you can enter their name into the field, and a record will automatically be created in the supplier list. We will talk about the supplier list and how to edit supplier records later in this tutorial. From the Accounts Payable drop-down menu, select the account this account payable is linked to. Depending on the account you select, the balance in that account will show in the balance field just below. Next, enter the amount owed on the bill in the amount field. The transaction reference is filled in for you automatically, and on the journal this reference will show as a purchase. In the memo field, you may add an additional description to the memo already entered if needed. The bottom section is for account allocation, so that the appropriate accounts are debited or credited for this bill. Click in the table to add an account. You can click any of the cells to change information. All accounts must balance before you can record the purchase, which means the amount paid must be evenly allocated to the proper accounts. The status bar at the bottom of the window will indicate when the accounts do not balance. Once the payable is balanced, click the Record button. When it is time to pay an account payable, click the Pay Payable icon on the toolbar. Select the supplier you are paying by clicking the drop-down menu and choosing the supplier. The amount owed to the supplier will then be filled in the amount field. Select the method you're using to pay the bill and enter a reference number for your use if necessary. From the Account Paid From field, select the account the payable is linked to. The Bills section displays all outstanding invoices and bills owed to the supplier. The amount paid to the supplier will be applied to the oldest balance first, but you may change any amount by clicking in the Applied column and changing the amount. When the payment balances, click Record. To view a list of all your accounts payable, click the View icon on the toolbar and select Accounts Payable. This will display all the accounts payable you have entered into Express Accounts, with the amount owed to each supplier and the status of the payment. To enter payments for items that are not accounts payable, but are regular purchases, click the Enter Payments of Direct Payments link in the Explorer bar. Enter the transaction date, who the payment was made to, which account the payment should be paid from, the amount of the transaction, and any other memo you want to record for the transaction. In the Account Allocation area, you can split the transaction between multiple accounts if needed, or click within any cell to modify the information shown. When the accounts balance, click the Record button. The Journal is where all transactions can be viewed. To open it, click the Journal icon in the toolbar. You can search through the journal using the date, account, and reference filters at the top. You can also view the journal for general, payments, receipts, sales, and purchases transactions by clicking the tabs at the top of the journal view. 
Although it is not generally recommended to make changes directly to the journal, if you find you need to edit a journal entry, select the entry and click the Edit icon in the toolbar. This opens the journal entry dialog for the selected transaction. You can make changes and then click the Record button to save. You can use Express Accounts to order items from your suppliers by creating purchase orders. Click the Create New Purchase Order link in the Explorer toolbar to open the New Order dialog. Select the supplier you are ordering from by clicking the Order Supplier drop-down menu. If your supplier does not appear in the list, you can enter their name in the field. A new supplier record will be created in the supplier list, which we will cover in the next section of this video. The Table section is where you can add items to be ordered. To add an item, click on an item or description cell to make a drop-down menu appear, then select the item by clicking it to add it to the list. Adjust the quantity of the item by highlighting the number in the quantity cell and typing a new quantity in. When all your items are entered and you are ready to save and send your purchase order, click the Record As button at the bottom of the window. Express Accounts allows you to keep records of all your suppliers, which makes inserting their information into purchase orders and payment screens go more quickly. To open the supplier list, click the View Supplier List link in the Explorer bar. To add a new supplier to the list, click the Add button. To add to a supplier record, select the supplier in the list and click the Edit button. Enter the supplier name, your contact with the supplier, and the contact's first name. Type in their mailing address and additional contact details. To use a specific tax rate with the supplier, select the rate from the tax drop-down menu. Note the taxes are configured on the Tax tab of the Options dialog. If you are editing an existing supplier's record, you will see a second tab in the record called Info. The Info tab houses details about your account with the supplier, such as the balance owed, the due date of your next bill, and a list of purchase orders you have sent to the supplier. You have just seen the tools and features on the Purchases tab of Express Accounts. For more tutorials on how to use Express Accounts, visit the address shown on your screen.